Hello everybody, Ben from Happy Hannon Studios here, coming at you live from the studio in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. We're talking about HWE Invades Paper Fest. Uh, we've got uh, five matches to talk about here. Uh, it was a great night of wrestling. If you watched my last video, you will know that I truly enjoyed it. And just a big props out to Josh. You did an amazing job uh, running your first ever show. Excellent, excellent job, my friend. So the night started out, uh, it was supposed to be a triple threat match between Stacey Shadows, Randy Fitzsimmons, and Brock Hall. Unfortunately, in another match, a wrestler was not able to make it, uh, so Brock got moved to that match. Uh, so the match was Stacey Shadows versus Randy Fitzsimmons. Uh, winner was Randy by the power of the kiss. Uh, he put his lips right on Stacy's and gave her a big old smoocheroo, distracted her so that he could win the match. Uh, during the match, referee Cody also felt the power of the kiss, though did not seem to enjoy it very, very much. Uh, watch when I do post my pictures and videos. I do have uh, videos and pictures of that particular thing happening. All in all, I do give the match an 8 out of 10. It was highly, highly entertaining. Um, Randy did a great job in his uh, quest to kiss Stacy, um, and uh, Stacy did a great job in her quest to not be kissed by Randy. So again, 8 out of 10. Uh, next up, Ethan Matthews was supposed to take on Will Emery. Uh, I can only speak for myself. was very disappointed. haven't seen Will in just a very long time. Unfortunately, circumstances prevented him from being there. Uh, so Brock Hall stepped up uh, and took on Ethan Matthews. Uh, these two have faced each other across federations. They know each other exceptionally well. Of course, uh, Brock got his, uh, his greeting of Brock Hall sucks from the fans. Uh, which is always highly amusing. Um, you can tell he enjoys what he does. Brock Hall did win the match uh, with the help of the ring ropes. Um, you know, bad guys do what bad guys do. Uh, I give the match a 7 out of 10. Uh, entertaining match, nothing wrong with it, uh, but nothing that, you know, S elevates it to that next level. Uh, next up, we have our, our first tag team match of the night, Ghetto Gear Solid versus the Baker Boys. I called for this match after the last HWE show um, because I thought, wow, these four can put on a hell of a match. And they did. Um, it did turn into a double count out, which is always a little disappointing. Definitely takes a few points off. Uh, definitely some circumstances that led to that during the match. Uh, the cool thing is rematch at the next HWE show uh, at Badger State Brewing. Uh, do you want to go to the show? Excellent. Go to High Red Wrestling Entertainment on Facebook. Look up the next show. Buy your tickets now. They go very quickly, especially if you want front row seats. I gave the match a uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, Johnny CK versus Kaiser. Uh, again, I've seen these two before. Uh, Kaiser, absolutely one of my all-time favorites. Uh, looks kind of funny right now with his little farmer's tan. Um, uh, Johnny CK, obviously a fan favorite. Uh, though I don't know if the fans quite knew what to make of him at this last show because they're not regular fans. Uh, Kaiser won the match because Kaiser is absolutely dominating uh, the Midwest scene at this moment. Uh, gave the match 7 out of 10. Next up, Stash Dance Resolution, Resolution versus Gen Z. Uh, so Gen Z now, obviously, tag team champions in ACW, uh, kind of starting to take the Midwest by storm. Stash Dance Resolution, Resolution, uh, obviously uh, known across the Midwest. Now, this one was weird because, of course, in uh, Now That's Wrestling, they just went heel. And in Now That's Wrestling, uh, Preston is part of the uh, part of the best friends club and Roy is part of uh, the uh, McClure's so it's just all kinds of confusion and crazy so fans obviously cheering stash dance and uh, booing Gen Z um, hell of a match to finish the night uh, it was a uh, it, kind of a false count anywhere so they were uh, pummeling each other across the Across the baseball diamond, uh, there was a flashing during this match, um, which is something that you don't often see at a wrestling show. But the fans were crazy, and of course, uh, Liquid Courage and all. 
Winners of the match were Stash Dance Resolution, uh, much to the fans' delight. Um, fans can't, got to come in the ring after uh, to uh, celebrate with the faces, which was really cool. I do have a video of that. Give the match an 8 out of 10. So, you know, uh, the, the thing about the show, of course, was there's not going to be any serious storylines enhanced in this show. I mean, this is not. This is to get those uh, casual fans to go get interested and go, huh, I should come see the next show. So, and it did that, I'm sure, in, in droves. So uh, overall, uh, the show got a 7.4 out of 10. Uh, it was a very solid show. Um, I've been to a few wrestling shows at festivals and outdoor shows. This definitely was the best of the best for me um, from an entertainment standpoint. So again, huge props out to Josh. You did a great job running your first show. I hope to see more shows that you run because, boy, you are excellent at it. All right, next up will be coming match of the night. So in case I don't see you again today, good morning, good afternoon, and good night.